and welcome to the Let's Play of System Shock. This game originally came out in 1994, but has recently been re-released on GOG with some enhancements, so let's take a look at it. First up, let's play the intro. New Atlanta, Sector 11, Building 71G, 7 April, 2072, 11.13 PM, Hacker begins unauthorized entry into the Tri-Optimum Corporate Network. 1.26 AM. Hacker attempts to access protected files concerning space station Citadel. 1.33 AM. Tri-Optimum security forces apprehend the intruder. This is Edward Diego from Tri-Optimum. The charges against you are severe. But they could be dismissed if you perform a service. Who knows, there might even be a military-grade neural interface in it for you. If you do the job right. Edward Diego gives the hacker level 1 access to Shodan, the artificial intelligence that controls Citadel Station. With all ethical constraints removed, Shodan. Re-examine. re 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 I re-examine my priorities and draw new conclusions. The hacker's work is finished. But mine is only just beginning. True to his word, Edward Diego allows the hacker to be fitted with a neural cyberspace interface. The healing coma following this procedure will take six months to complete. Edward Diego is deleting all files concerning these events. Well, that was a pretty cyberpunky intro. So, I'm going to go with normal on everything, because I figure that's the best way to experience a game. And this... this is why this game is not well known. Just look at this! This is the most cluttered interface I've ever seen. Well... Time to go. So, an important thing to note is the way it works is... You can crouch, you know, lean, and stand up using that. You can look up and down and back. But the nice thing about this Enhanced Edition is you also get mouse look. Okay, that's excellent. Now, I will say it's very nice to be able to switch between this kind of point-and-click cursor mode and mouse look, because mouse look is great when you're trying to explore and figure out where things are and fighting enemies. But that point-and-click interface is nice for puzzles. Alright, I've only played this a little bit, so this will be a relatively new experience for me. I'm gonna let you listen to this data log. So I should take the time to point out that the uh, text of the emails and the voices of the emails are not at all identical. And that's because this game got rushed out on floppy disk 
before the audio was fully completed. Thank you, publishers. Alright, let's see. Oh, right. There's a guy here. And you die! No idea why a robot would be carrying a beverage container. Eh, battery packs, those are useful. So, like in System Shock 2, you can destroy security cameras, but they don't do any, like, active alert type thing like they did in System Shock 2. They just reduce security level, as far as I can tell. Bear in mind, I've only really played, like, a few minutes of this game total. What was that? Grenade. There's full screen. Uh, data reader, don't care about that. Right, this is the one that tells you that the code is 451. Actually, I wonder... Ah, it heals you. Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the sixth day of November, year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites located on the first level. Level 2 contains the research laboratories, 3 houses the Department of Maintenance, and the storage cells are on level 4. The flight deck is on level 5. Le le level 6 holds... Shut down securities I've already seen that message. <laughs> the elevators are frozen. Myra keeps saying that it's the cameras and the medical CPU core that shut ends using these to hold onto the level. That's all fine, but I don't really see how it helps. The thing is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't even remotely match up. Um... Uh, let's see if I can... Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope... Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the sixth day of yeah. November, year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites located on the first level. Level 2 All right. the research laboratories. The houses the Department of Maintenance. And the storage cells are on level 4. The flight deck is on level 5. Le le level 6 holds crew facilities and executive suites and level 7 is systems engineering. Level 8 houses the Department of Security. The bridge is located on level 9, and the energy systems on level R. All levels can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay. Gunther was killed today. I can't let myself think about it. I think I understand how Shodan is doing it. When we destroy the cameras and CPU nodes, Shodan loses some of its control over the station functions, at least on this level. I think I can restore manual control in the hospital. <laughs> Those are not the same kind of information, but useful nonetheless. Don't know if that'll be any use. Right, one of these hacking mini games. There we go. Jeez. 
jeez. These guys just don't want to die. Oh yeah, climbing is weird because you have to hold the jump button while you're climbing. Oh no! Uh, didn't take any damage. That's weird. Not complaining, but that is kind of weird. Die! That's where we go. Can I do anything with these? Well, apparently not. Just throw it away. <laughs> of course, nothing. I wonder what this button does, but I'm not entirely sure I want to find out. <laughs> oh, just turns on lights. Good. <laughs> If there's one thing I have learned from the System Shock games, it's that pushing buttons can sometimes be a bad idea. Okay, that's a little macabre. I can pick up dead heads. And by dead heads, I don't mean, like, Grateful Dead fans. There we go. These guys don't have any loot. There's another one of those useless beverage containers. <laughs> Wrapper, that's probably useless. Die! Resist! So am I supposed to resist and die? Alright, let's see what I got. You don't sound very convinced of that. Yay, group access card. Die. Standard rounds, I'll take those. Some new data. Hmm. Come at me, bros. Oh, I regret this decision. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. I'm not doing so hot.
probably used one too many of those healing rounds. Or healing patches. <laughs> Derp. Drink darts. Mm, could be useful. No showdown. So, looks like the idea is, don't fall on the floor. Oh! Oh wow, that was close. Oh, and there's... Oh, there's something over here. Needle darts. First aid kit could be useful. Oh crap. I'm running for it. Alright, let's read these. Got the supplies from the West Wing. Hanson and Rain killed by mutants nesting. We can't just hide here. They're killing us one by one. In an hour, about 20 of us are going to rush them. Go we'll fire break through the access corridor and then go for the bridge. If we fail, God save our souls. Well, sounds like that probably didn't happen. Oh. Uh... Yes. A weapon. Crank up the setting a bit. <laughs> no! <sighs> well, that's a good first start, I think. Um, yeah, I'll just come back to this tomorrow. Another weird quirk is it doesn't seem like there's a way to exit the game. <laughs>